Yeah, some of the goals I have as an MMA fighter is, uh, you know, it's including reaching the top. I'm pretty, pretty close to, uh, from a title shot right now. Fight for Bellator in a four-man tournament. So I'm just have my eyes set on that championship Bellator belt right now for the moment. Getting ready for like fighting fights. It's it's tough sometimes, but I I don't think I'd I think it would be much tougher to go to a nine to five job five days a week. My name is Anthony Leone. I am from New York and I fight professional MMA. I started fighting uh, at 21, um, made my pro debut in Hawaii, and fought in WEC, Strike Force, and now I fight for Bellator. And uh, I have 17 pro fights. <laughs> when you do a one, two, three, then from here, you're like, yeah. uh, Me and Boyd have been working some MMA combinations and uh, a little bit of um, different techniques that uh, you know you might not see too much in MMA today. So, and my fight with Zach Mikulski in December that was a really good opportunity for me to fight the former Bellator bantamweight champion, and that was a really um, a really tough fight. Zach's a really tough guy, so I knew he was a great wrestler, and the game plan worked out really well there, got the W, and now I got the opportunity to fight in the four-man bantamweight tournament for Bellator, and that's my first fight July 31st against Frank Baca, and they're, on the other side there's two Brazilians fighting, and then that fight will take place, the final fight will take place in October. Frank Baca, he's 16-2, and two, solid record. Um, many of his fights have been fought in King of the Cage, and I know he's fought at 125 once. Um, actually, I can't really find many fights on him on the internet, only one in 2010. He looks like a decent striker, all right, all right wrestler, pretty good grappler. So I think he's average all the way around. I think uh, my hands would be much better than a much faster, and I'll be, I think I'll be a lot stronger in my jiu-jitsu and wrestling. will definitely nullify anything he has to... Uh, Give me. I don't. I don't know. I haven't seen too much tape on him, but I'm. I'm really confident for this fight, and my training has been amazing for this fight. So I see myself finishing Frank Baca. Uh, yeah, today at 7.15 we had a workout at TF Training for Warriors Thailand with Mark Marini. It's really amazing. Uh, training for Warriors has, has really helped my game out a lot for uh, my conditioning, my cardio, my my agility, my speed, everything, my strength. So, really thankful to be with those guys. We went up to Promptep Cape and did, we did, we broke it down like this. Three rounds of five minutes, actually the last round was seven minutes, and a minute break in between. Uh, I had a stair sprints, and then right from stair sprints, I do pad work for about 30 seconds, whatever it is, punching, kick combinations, knees, and then go jog back down to the stairs, sprint back up. And I think you do that for uh, five minutes, so I got four rounds in. First take place as soon as you get in uh, in between rounds. Okay. 
just like that, and you'll have about about a good solid uh, about 35 seconds for him to you know just kind of critique you on what he's seeing. And then we headed right over to Nyharn Beach. That's where the seven minute round took place and I had us do a full out beach sprint from cone to cone. I don't know what it was, maybe 50 meters. Three, two, one, go. That's it, come on. And right from going back and forth, I would either have to wrestle, do a couple um, double leg takedowns, and then sprint back and forth. And then I would have to, he'd put me in bad positions like mount or back escape and I'd have to get out, then do another sprint back and forth. And, and the last couple of sprints was used with the harness or the TRX pulling the sandbag across the sand. It's tough on especially so early. Man, he's fucking good. He's always putting up like crazy workouts. I never know what I'm gonna do here. Hey. <laughs> you talking smack, dude. What? You talking smack, bro. No. <laughs> Saying good things. <laughs> Lion sack of shit. <laughs> Yeah, so at Phuket Top Team now, where I'm trained most of my session, I do BJJ with the gi three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday with the Lavo, Lavo's the man. Tuesdays and Thursdays I work with Guillaume or Boyd and um, get my pad work in and also spar with Guillaume, who's the boxing coach at Phuket Top Team. Everything is like really coming together, peaking up at the right moments, and that's what you want. You want to peak at the right moment, and I feel like I am. And I've been, I've been training, I haven't fought in seven months, and I've been training like constantly that whole entire time. So it wasn't like I was out of shape coming into this fight. I was already in shape, and we just had to just get a little bit better in shape. I just want to thank uh, my sponsor, Grips. For uh, supporting us, me and my brother, they're they're amazing. Um, my family for supporting me, all my friends, girlfriends, my teams, everything. You know, got a lot of support. So it's really hard to do this without support, and um, you need all the support you can take. So 